Hello and welcome to the G3 Pulse podcast. My guest today is Duncan Faithful, Chief Commercial Officer at Quixen. Duncan, welcome back to the podcast. Hi, Lewis. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year to you. Um, I'm always excited to talk to you around this time of year, especially because I know we've got ice on the horizon, but this week there's the CES show taking place in Vegas. All that new tech is being revealed, all the latest chips, boards, AMD, NVIDIA. Um, they're all powering all the new gadgets for 2024. And then when I speak to you about ice and the hardware, they'll be powering all the latest gaming and sports betting products. I'm, I, you know, it's, it's tantalizing to say the least, but you know, I know that Quixen have a headliner this year at the ICE. You're about to launch your new Intel-based IQ2. What can you reveal about it, Duncan? What's special and why are visitors going to be excited to get their hands on the new platform? Yeah, no, good question. So um, so, so just to go over a, a couple of things we've covered before, you know that um, Quixen has three product families that we, we sell. We've got the QMAX, that's the top end range that we launched at ICE 2023 on Intel. Um, at G2E 2023, we launched the Icon, which is a, a middle rate, the middle of the range. So um, launching the IQ2 at uh, the show in London is really, really important because it completes the family set. Okay. So we will have, um, as of as of uh, ICE in London, uh, we'll have the full family on both uh, AMD and Intel. And uh, we're really proud of our relationship we've got with Intel now. Lewis, you know, it's fairly new for us. It's been a year now. A really hard work of getting our products onto their platforms, um, but we're leveraging their 12th generation Alder Lake processors, which is really exciting. And it's really exciting because it gives really great power and performance and functionality, but a price point that's really accessible. So the whole theory around Quixen's product family is to make sure that whatever your requirements cost-wise, um, you get the ultimate power, the ultimate performance, and the ultimate ability to show your games in just the best light. So it's it's really the opportunity for our customers to come and see us talk about what really is they're trying to achieve with their games and their performance of their games. And we will have, with the IQ2 being launched, uh, an, op- an opportunity to have whatever Intel platform they're looking for at whatever cost. Okay. So it's, 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 it's just really exciting because um, for the first time in three years since the pandemic, we will have our full product family set and ready to go. Okay, well, uh, um, one, I was intrigued by, I think, the, I think it was the press release or, or an earlier article that we'd done about, um, with you about, you described the utility of IQ2, and you said, our customer's focus needs to be on developing the customer experience, not yeah. on the hardware platforms to bring the products to life. Yeah. I just, could you expand on what you meant by that? Because I found that quite intriguing. Yeah, of course. Um, so we spend a lot of time talking to our customers, Lewis, that's all good suppliers should, and trying to understand what it is that coming out of the pandemic, they're really trying to achieve. And what's common across the piece is that uh, the key differentiator for all of our customers is being able to display their content in the most vivid way, and also to allow them to be as creative as they possibly can be, coming up with the most fantastic and uh, entertaining and immersing games that they can. Now, uh, what we believe our role in all of this is, is to enable them to go ahead and do that. You know, the, their differentiator in their marketplace isn't whether they design a PC with certain features um, on it. That's not going to help them um, be more successful. What will help them be more successful is outsourcing all of that to uh, a company that only do that for a living and can give them a range of options to enable them to just be as creative as they can. Because yeah. it's content that's always going to be king. And, you know, you know particularly now, it's a, it's a crowded marketplace. So actually, those small points of difference around how vivid your game can look and how great it can appear on the screen is the key differentiator. And that's that's our role in it. So so we talk to our customers a lot around, actually, you just focus your time on creating the best content. We'll focus our time on doing what we do really, really well, which is sourcing and manufacturing just the, the best gaming PCs you can get on the market. And, and back to IQ2, mm. the, the key thing about IQ2 is for you know, a range of markets, this is going to give a real ability to drive that sort of ultimate performance, but at a price point that's relevant to the world that they're living in. So, so actually, it's, a, it, it, it's, it's about creativity and giving designers just the best chance to show themselves in the best light. And that's our role in the whole thing. So that's what we help our customers do. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks for that. Um, we've spoken previously about um, the individual additions to the Quixen platform, and you, you talked about a little bit like that, that, that earlier. Um, yeah. What is the overview of the entire AMD, AMD Intel-based range look like? How, how do you describe that to customers in terms of that broader overlook and where they should be targeting what, what they're doing with their products? Yeah. So, so fundamentally, we, we believe this is about choice. So it's not our role to prescribe to our customers. We believe actually that, you know, that's, it's their choice who they want to write their games on. You know, whether they want to choose Intel, whether they want to choose AMD, that's their bag. And um, what we what we believe is um, is giving them choice, okay. and giving them a choice of not only those two providers of, of the graphics um, uh, facility, but also at price points. So um, at whatever price point and whatever choice of graphics provider they're looking for, we now have that solution. So so really the uh, yeah the, the ultimate choice to drive the best game content that you can. But okay. I think the, the the key thing really with Quicksent is. You know, as you know, and I've bored you with before, you know, all Quixen, all Quixen does is, is gaming. Mm -hmm. So, you know, many, many of our competitors, you know, gaming is one of their verticals that they, they concentrate on. All we do is gaming. So all of our support, all of our engineering, all of the technical expertise is geared towards making, you know, the functionality of our PCs just the best it can be for gaming. And, you know, the final thing really is, um, the wrapper of this of the Quixen service is also geared to the same end. Okay. So we have we have support uh, across the world um, who fundamentally and the only thing they do is help our customers deliver the ultimate gaming performance. And it's 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 a really important part of of what differentiates Quixen, I believe. You know, in, in that everything we do, everything we do, all of the training we do of our people, all of our engineers are just thinking about making. Uh, our customers' games the best they can be. So that, that sort of quicks and service wrapper that sits around all of those products, whether it's Intel or AMD, their solution is the same. And, um, you know, our customers buy product from Quixen, not from Intel and AMD. Uh, so that service wrapper um, is the same for for whichever one they choose. Okay. So, yeah, so it's, about, it's about choice and it's about giving, you know, that, that's that absolute ability to decide which way you want to go and at what price point. And okay. That's what we're here to support. Um, I, um, we, we chatted at G2E last year, but after the show, um, you made a quick made an announcement about its partnership with Elas. Yeah. Um, it's a Bosnia-based business that's been creating slot terminals um, okay. products um, for about three decades. Yeah. What 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 does it bring to Quixen's cabinet offering? Um, I'm thinking to you to your European customers, and will we see the fruits of the partnership at ICE? Yeah. So you, um, so we have two cabinet ranges. We have the Kinetic, which is geared towards sports betting, and we have Quantum, that's a traditional slot machine that you've seen on our stands um, before at, at ICE and at G2E last year. Um, up to this point, we've been manufacturing all of our cabinets in North America, okay. um, and we've got a brilliant partner over there that helps us helps us with that. But more and more, there's there's opportunity in in Europe and in LATAM, um, particularly where uh, game manufacturers now are looking for that sort of ultimate outsource. You know, okay. they, they know that we can do the PCs for them, but actually post post COVID, you know, there was a there's a sort of a belief back to that point we talked about where they want to focus on content. They don't want to worry about whether they can get a bill validator or a monitor. Actually, let someone else do that that do that really well, and, and let them write the games. Now, okay. Elas, um, you know, Elas are a a real premium quality, highly experienced um, manufacturer uh, in Europe. And actually, the, the key thing for us with them is they are a brilliant partner to work with because they know way more about cabinets than we ever will. So okay. they're really helping us learn more and more about how we create our cabinets to that sort of ultimate um, uh, position of, of quality and of features. Um, but also, and, and being really blunt, you know, they, they help us in Europe in terms of logistics. Okay. You know, it's, a, it's a hell of a thing moving a large number of cabinets across the world from North America, and you know, from a sustainability, you know, and a, a green perspective, that's mm -hmm. not really the way we believe that business should be done. So Elas helps in a number of ways. They're fantastic at manufacturing. They're close to our marketplaces, um, and and the, you know, the, the customers that are within um, the regions that they will serve, you know, uh, actually really are looking for 
premium quality products at a, at a good price. Okay. Um, so, so we chose we, we, we chose them. We, we saw we looked at a number of different providers that could help us. Um, but actually, they were head and shoulders above the others. And we're really proud of that, of, of the partnership we've got with them. They, you know, we're just working on a couple of um, customers now to, to get things rolling. And we'll hopefully have some good news in the next couple of weeks on that. Um, and, and yeah, at ICE, you'll see um, a, a, an example of both cabinets on, on, our, on our stand. So, so yeah, so if, please come and have a look, um, come and have a play. Um, they are, they're progressing in terms of how they look and how they feel. Um, and they're really they're really showing games in a really brilliant light. So, um, yeah, we're really proud of them, and we think it'll make a big difference. Okay, I look forward to checking those out at, uh, in February. Um, just you mentioned LATAM just now, and the the new IQ two. Um, you talked about it being powerful and cost effective as a platform. Um, what does that mean for, in terms of global market reach? I'm, I'm thinking back to what you said about LATAM, and does that include adjacent segments such as amusements and route markets? Yeah. So um, as with all Quicksand platforms, it comes with all of the embedded software on board. All it's regulatorily, uh, that's a word, I'm not sure it is, but it's approved It's approved where, in whatever jurisdiction um, this will end up in and in whatever market. So so as, as with all of our platforms, we've, we've covered all of that. So nobody has to worry about that part of, of their game design process. Um, for LATAM, it's, it's a really exciting product, actually. We have, um, as we talked about earlier, we have an IQ1, uh, which is uh, with AMD on board. It's a fantastic product. And um, the IQ2 is more powerful at a more competitive price point. Okay. So for those, for those markets where you know, price really is important, um, actually, it'll, it'll play a massive role because, again, they'll push the quality of the game design um, but, it, but within that sort of cost constraint that they operate in. So for, for LATAM, it's perfect. And we're actually talking to a number of, of our current customers who operate um, uh, in many of the LATAM countries, actually, um, and with the big one that we, we always talk about, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, and actually for all of those countries, this is going to be perfect. But for, for the root markets, and particularly in combination with the cabinets that we've just talked about, um, the IQ2 will be a brilliant solution for um, that cost-effective approach for root markets, okay. the amusement markets for LATAM and 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 for Brazil. And uh, you know, I know we're I'm not sure whether we'll touch on that, but 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 for Brazil, actually, this is going to be this is going to be great because they our platforms come with um, a, a number of different cooling solutions okay. and for different and for different um, environmental conditions, the IQ2 can give different different solutions around that depending on the environment that you're in. So. Actually, it's going to be perfect for LATAM. It's already um, in the root markets through the IQ1 version of this, so it's okay. it's already set up for that, um, and it has Intel on board. So you know the the quality of the graphics is going to be amazing. So I think it's going to be great for LATAM, and, and we're really excited, particularly when when Brazil. I'll say when when Brazil comes on board. Yeah, yeah, no longer if uh, when. Um, uh, when you have a, a product like the IQ2, and you've got a kind of a desirable one that is applicable to multiple markets and segments, yeah. do you create problems that you have to solve in terms of sales and support and servicing around that as well? In particular, I'm thinking about you know ge geographically. Yeah, um, no, no, good question. So we have um, sales team. First of all, we have sales team um, on the ground in all the major gaming jurisdictions. Um, we've just recruited a team of people who, from a language perspective, can um, help in the LATAM countries in native tongue, which I think is, is really important. And we're currently looking at how we set up um, the sort of post-sales service function in, in Latin America. So that's, that's going to be on the ground as well. But, but Quicksand's a truly global company. You know, we have um, a presence in North America. In Europe, in Germany, um, and over in Asia and Australia. So we have we have people on the ground, and we think we think that's really important, um, not just from the point of view of language, which is the really obvious thing, but but actually from from a speed point of view, you know, you okay. know, service is really important. We don't we don't we don't believe that you know uh, our partner should be sending um, materials back to us if they want us to add features or to or to things to be repaired, we believe that should be done on the ground with urgency, and and that's how we've that's how we've set ourselves up. So 
So you know, everything is truly global. Um, the, uh, the the field engineers are truly global. Mm. You know, so so we're there to help our customers with whatever technical questions or needs they have. So so no, we we, we build our we build all of our platforms with the, the world in mind. You know, so so everything that that sits on our product portfolio is means it can be applicable in whatever whatever jurisdiction it's going into. So so. No, it makes it really interesting, and it means we have to design our products well with everyone in mind. Um, yeah. But actually, from the point of view of, of sales and then the support process, we we believe in local local service with that sort of global presence to um, to make sure that that best practice is covered across the world. Okay, okay. Um, well, I, I'm I'm going to be visiting ICE, and uh, I'm sure most of the listeners to the podcast are going to be visiting ICE as well. Um, what what makes a visit to the Quixen booth uh, in 2024? Um, what's the what, what's what's the must attend thing? What's what's the thing that you're most excited to be showing um, the visitors? And what's the secret sauce that you have that's the mix that differentiates you from the rest? So um, the big thing for us is uh, IQ two. Uh, finishes the portfolio on our Intel solutions. Okay. So, so uh, you know, and I, I you know, I, I was going to make a joke of going on. How long have you been integrating for now, Duncan? Uh, on Intel. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, so AMD obviously made their announcements about the their future in gaming. I think that was about a, well, it was April the year before last. Okay. You know, and and we can all remember that it was one of those days that that you sort of don't forget. But actually, you know, as with as with most bits of bad news, you can find opportunity from it, mm. you know. And, and so we now have um, a portfolio of products that have both Intel and AMD solutions across all of the different families of products. So, you know, for the first time ever, um, people coming to our stand can see that and they can talk about what is the best choice for them. Back to that, back to that point around, you know, what are we here to do? We're here to give people the ultimate choice and and help them with their game design process. That's, okay. that's what we're about. So they'll so they'll see the full range of the Intel solutions, which we're really proud of. Um, they'll see how we can integrate all of those into our kinetic and con- quantum cabinets. Okay. Uh, and again, and I think I think the most important thing, back to your secret source, is is you know the secret source for Quixen is that service wrapper that goes around everything. So whatever people need and whatever their problems might be, whether they need help with integrating games onto platforms, whether they need conversations with our local um, field engineers, whatever it is they need, that, that service wrapper is really the, the key. And and on our stand, we will have uh, people like me uh, and then some really clever people as well uh, who, who, you know, like the uh, the engineers who can talk around, you know, what that service wrapper means for them, actually, yep. uh, you know, and, and I'm, you know, we're really we're really proud of that. Um, I guess the final thing is the is the software suite, and I know I've known I know we've talked about this before, but we've been developing that on a constant basis because you know more and more you know, our customers are looking for for value, you know, and of course you know it's been a tough time economically, and you know so the the more features we can pack into our orange boxes to help our customers with the design process. Um, the cost of actually doing that design and creating brilliant games, you know, the better. And so, you know, when they come to our, our stand, they'll see the, all of the Intel solutions partnering the AMD ones. They'll see our cabinets. They can talk about our software and how we can help them. Yeah. Um, and they can talk to our really clever people who, who can, can help them uh, make their business better and make their games perform better. So I think that's probably it. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm looking forward to uh, to catching on the booth um, uh, just in, in three three or so weeks' time. Um, finally, Duncan, what's I'm wondering what's on your radio for 2024. I I I as I say, watching CES now. I always think of what it must be like as a journalist talking to directly to Sony, directly to AMD, and then Nvidia, and all these companies showing the worst. You're the closest I have to that um, for our industry, and and so I, I I'm interested in what's your general outlook for the year ahead. And do you think it's going to be more settled than we've had recently, or are we still in for some disruption? So uh, just from the point of view of availability of components that goes into all of our our products, that's definitely settling down. Okay. So we're starting to see a much improved picture in terms of lead time. 
know, you know, which is really important. You know, our customers don't want to tie up loads and loads of cash and having to order stock six months out, which is where we were, you know, two or three years ago. So, so that the whole um, the whole landscape around uh, supply chain challenges they're really normalising, and we're getting back to pre-pandemic levels of that now. Okay. Um, the um, the product coming out of out of the Far East is is much more reliable. It's much it's much more predictable, um, you know, and and we're pretty much down to lead times from pre-pandemic. So I guess I guess that sort of that that supply chain position is definitely getting better. You know, there's it sounds like there's going to be some issues shipping wise over the next couple of months. So yeah. we'll, have to, we'll have to think about how we deal with that. But we have a team of uh, really brilliant supply chain guys out in Taiwan who who do this in their sleep, right? So so okay. you know one of the benefits of the pandemic has been that you know actually that's really sharpened up their skills as well. It's it's you know you you can't you can't relax in this in this world. You've got to you know always strive to be better from a supply chain perspective. Okay. Um, I think market-wise, you know, 2023 was an interesting year, wasn't it? I think we all bounced out of 2022 feeling massively positive that it was going to be a wonderful year. And I think 23 was harder than I think a lot of people thought it would be. Mm. So, you know, our view of 2024, which, you know, is is one our customers generally share, is that it, it's starting positive. I think there's a bit of caution going into the first half. But if, if you look at the number of projects that we're working on, you know, that are going to be going live from the end of sort of Q2. Actually, I think everyone is showing that there's there's a lot of life in this in this industry. Um, so we're really positive. Uh, you know, we're investing in in people across the world um, from that point of view about local support that we talked about earlier. Yeah. Uh, so so we're investing, uh, you know, in 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 our teams that can support our customers. Um, we talked about Brazil. You know, we we are exactly yeah yeah we yeah go let's let's do the hope thing again. We'll go we'll go into this year, but I I think that you know all of the work that's gone on um, from a regulatory perspective around sports betting and the lottery in in Brazil is showing that there is activity there now. Uh, so so we've already got a we've got our supply chain routes into Brazil already set up, ready for when that starts. So um, I think the the key to Brazil will be those first to market will win. And it's an obvious statement, right? But yeah. but, it, but I think in, in Brazil, it's definitely going to be true. So, um, you know, as you, as you know, and I've talked about it before, Quixen invests a lot of its um, ca- own cash into, into managing stock in a really effective way and components and whatever it is we need to give our customers an advantage. So we'll do, we're going to do the same in Brazil. Okay. So, so uh, as, soon as, as soon as the regulations... You know, as soon as the light comes on, you know our customers will be able to access our stock in country um, as soon as they need it. So I think that's a really exciting thing. Um, you know, and and at the same time, you know, from a regulatory point of view, you've got Mexico who are going sort of the other way. Um, you know, so so you know, I, I think I think there's 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 a load of positives and there's stuff just to just to watch as well. Yeah. Um, you know, but 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 for us, we are, you know, we're. We're optimizing everything on our on our hardware platforms. You know, we're about supporting our customers, and actually, that's that's what's the good fun of this, isn't it? You know, how 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 do you make how do you make the people you work with make their games just brilliant, and and that's what we love. So, we're yeah, really excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm excited to be um, at ICE. I'm excited to, uh, to kind of meet um, and greet everybody. Um, and um, yeah, thank you for the overview. As appreciated as always there, Duncan. Thanks for, the, thanks for running through all that. Oh, perfect. We're, we're on stand N2120. So, um, so come and see us. And, and yeah, we look forward to, to, to seeing you on the stand, Lewis, like we always do. Yeah, great. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Duncan. Bye. Perfect. Thanks for your time. Cheers, Lewis. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you want to watch more, why not subscribe to our channel? Just click here.